Hi guys, once again it's Everything Apple Pro here and in this video I will be showing you guys how to remove multitasking from your iOS 4 device. Now to be more specific you would want to remove multitasking especially if you accidentally selected it while jailbreaking on your iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2nd gen because it really slows down those devices. Another reason you could be doing this is because you have an iPhone that you're using multi-flow and backgrounder with and you have no no need for the multitasking that is on iOS 4 because you are using a different type. And lastly, you may be that guy that just doesn't use it at all because you've gotten used to the older firmwares where you didn't need it at all or for whatever reason you just don't need it and to tell you the truth it does take up a lot of RAM so you will see a significant speed difference on the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this on the 3GS or iPhone 4 or the 3rd and 4th generation iPods because it's something that I use a lot I don't know about you but it doesn't take up a lot of RAM so there's really no reason why you would want to remove it and basically what we're going to be using for this is called Z toggle which is free in Cydia so search for Z toggle and install it and if you really want to do this on your iPod touch fourth and third gen it's a different method which I will not be going through but you'll simply download the individual pack for the iPod 3rd gen or the 4th gen by searching for disable in Cydia and it'll download Winterboard as well and you'll just toggle it off in Winterboard but for the all the other devices we're going to be using Z toggle so once you've got it downloaded we're going to head over to it on the springboard and it's a really straightforward app you just open it and inside you'll see your device and that's the only one you'll be able to select and simply click off multitasking and respring and that's it it's just gonna respring real quick and you no longer have multitasking and of course you'll notice a big difference in the speed of your device and multitasking no longer works and if you really want to reactivate you can just go back in there and reactivate it using the same method and thanks for watching guys this is a really quick tip it's been requested a lot by my fans and here you go guys so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I hope this works for you guys and have fun